We know that people choose cities for two specific reasons. They want great schools and they want low crime rates. And we're committed to doing that. Baltimore's new mayor is making education one of her top priorities. For that to happen, she says she'll need more control. So it's not about the money. It's about setting, you know, helping to shape the policies in the direction of the school system. And that means having appointments on the school board. Mayor Pugh is expecting support from the governor to help reform the system. Mayor Pugh and I have a shared vision for Baltimore. We both want to ensure that every single child has a access to a world-class education, regardless of what neighborhood they happen to grow up in. The mayor may be counting on at least one member of her new city hall staff to help take back full control of the school system. I'm so grateful for the team that I've begun to assemble. I've got the best chief of staff in the world, Tisha Edwards, thank you. Edwards is the former interim city school CEO. In the Pew administration, she'll be responsible for day-to-day -day management of the mayor's office. And based on a 20-year-old city-state school partnership, the mayor and governor now get to pick board members. What's not sure is whether Mayor Pugh will get enough support from the city and state to fully run a district in the midst of a major rebuilding effort. We committed $2 billion for new schools in Baltimore City. $2 billion. A billion coming out of the state, a billion coming out of the city. A city and now a new mayor determined to run the school system with fewer state restrictions. And I am blessed every single day. Now, Mayor Pugh hasn't said how soon she'll try and regain control over the city school system. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.